Tim here with yet another movie review. I'm looking back at all of Phase 2 in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and we've reached the big one for me, Guardians of the Galaxy, my favorite MCU movie, one of my favorite superhero movies ever made. <sighs> okay. So I'm going to take you guys on a trip down memory lane. I saw this movie July 31st at the Marcus Theater in Mequon, Wisconsin. Theater number 11, 7 o'clock p.m. Me and my dad on the ultra screen. Um, and I will never forget it. This is easily the most formative moment that I had watching film. That's why this movie is so important to me. Let's explain. So um, I've been watching, I've, I've been a fan of movies my whole life. Um, if you ask anybody that knows me very, 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 very well, I really like movies, guys, okay? Um, but I didn't really understand them, I don't think, until this movie. And I think that has to do with, again, a lot of things, a lot of things. First off, I loved superhero movies, loved Marvel movies, specifically uh, Marvel movies growing up. Uh, Spider-Man, I saw at a very young age, the Sam Raimi O2 movie with, uh, with my grandpa. That meant a lot to me. There were a lot of movies that I just, I really enjoyed. I just loved them because it was superheroes punching people. Um, but Guardians was the first time that everything kind of came together. Um, even, and not even The Avengers, which is a movie that now I love and I think is pretty damn near perfect, was not a movie that um, I really understood when it came out. And I was 16. It's not like I was super young. I was 16 when that movie came out. But I just graduated high school. I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. I was working at a movie theater. Um, I didn't have any kind of direction. Um, I was going to go to college to be a uh, youth pastor, which is something I kind of tricked myself into thinking I wanted to do. And um, I decided to drop out at the, the last minute of doing that. Um, I hadn't formally made that decision yet when this came out, but it was something that had been in my head that I, I, I did not want to go to college. Um, I, I, I don't like school. I didn't want to go. And um, I just started dating uh, this girl who is now my fiance and we're getting married. Uh, and that's Maggie. You guys know Maggie. But uh, there was a lot going on. I didn't really have a direction. I didn't know what I wanted to do. For a long time, I thought... I, you know, I really want to direct a movie. I directed a movie that year. Um, it's terrible. It's on this YouTube channel. Feel free, go watch. It's horrible. Um, but at the time, I was really passionate about it, and I just, I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't have a direction. And I was really down because I didn't know what I was doing. And then I went into a movie theater, and I sat down with my dad and watched Guardians of the Galaxy. And something just clicked with me. Again, I'm a huge Marvel fan. I had seen all these movies, but something about the writing, the music, the acting, the comedy, the sense of design and sense of production behind this movie, it felt to me like when everybody talks about the first time they saw Star Wars in the 70s, it's how I felt watching this movie, I'm imagining. That's how I felt watching this movie. It completely changed the way I look at movies and more or less changed the way I look at life. And that's, I've, I've got to thank Marvel and James Gunn for doing that because <laughs> it's so weird. This movie kind of changed my life. I've seen this movie 19 times. I saw it 10 times in the theater. I've seen it nine times on Blu-ray, and that's over the last four years. But it just really changed the way I look at everything. I don't know how to explain it um, more than what I already have said. Uh, it's, it's just a movie that, again, sitting in that theater, looking at it, I'm 18 years old, I don't know what I want to do with my life. I'm afraid of disappointing everyone, and here I am watching this 
Guardians of the Galaxy, a property I knew nothing about. And it just completely changed me. I looked at life differently. I realized that, you know, m movies are more than just entertainment to me. They're my passion. They're, they're, they're everything to me. Um, and that I can escape into a world like Guardians of the Galaxy and like Marvel and have purpose and have, have something, uh, I, 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 it's a communal thing that I can go in there and enjoy this movie and love this movie and appreciate this movie as a movie, but then just as a fan and as a person and then communally have this same love with millions of people. Um, whether it's on YouTube or friends from uh, work or my fiance who thank the Lord also <laughs> loves this movie. So um, I'm not really going to talk about the movie a lot. Chris Pratt's great. The acting's great. The movie's great. It's my favorite Marvel movie. It will always be my favorite Marvel movie. Even if Infinity War is whoo, crazy, crazy good times. Guardians will always be my favorite Marvel movie. It's one of my favorite movies ever made. And it's just... I... <laughs> Thank you, Marvel. Thank you, because you changed my life. You changed the way I look at movies. You changed the way that I think about movies. And it all is thanks to you. So, from a very big Marvel fan... A very, very big movie fan. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, well, that got weird. I didn't expect to do that starting this video, but it felt good. It felt good to talk about Guardians in a way that really matters to me, personally. Now, if you think I'm full of shit, then let me know in the comments below. But be sure to hit that like button, guys, and hit subscribe. It helps me out a great deal. And be on the lookout for other Marvel-related videos in anticipation of Infinity War, which... We're about a week away, a little week and a half, so very excited. Still going to be reviewing Age of Ultron, Ant-Man, Civil War, and Doctor Strange, so be on the lookout for those movies, and uh, be on the lookout for any other related content that I have coming up. Thanks, as always, for watching, guys. Until next time, have a good one.